getting a lot of questions about task number eight for our drug study. And I just thought I would do an example for you. That way, hopefully it helps you understand what to do. Okay. So the question itself asks you to make a 2.5 times 10 to the negative two molar solution in 50 milliliters of solution. Okay. And then you get all these pictures of your volumetric flasks, right? So, um, these are flasks that are actually really, really accurate. Obviously not my horrid picture of one, but, um, these flasks are really great because they have just one line of measurement on them and they're incredibly accurate for that one measurement. Okay. So, um, this is the way that we would make drugs, right? Or, or make, act, actually make something that you would use. So you will add in your amount of drug, like whatever amount of grams of your drug, and then you will fill up the rest with water up until the meniscus hits exactly that line on the volumetric flask. Okay. They're very accurate. So what we do first, okay, is we use this information in the question to figure out the number of moles that we're going to have. Okay. So we have, if you remember, right, molarity is moles divided by liters. Okay. So I have molarity and I have milliliters. So I just need to convert that to liters and then I can solve for moles. Okay. So this is in scientific notation. Get that out the scientific notation. So move that decimal place one, two places back and you will set up this problem as 0 0.025 molar equals X amount of moles. That's what we're going to solve for divided by 50 mils is 0 0.05 liters. Okay. And you just solve for X. So you're going to end up multiplying these two numbers together. So X equals 0 0.00125 moles. And my dog is trying to join me in the room. Hey buddy. Okay, so now I have my number of moles of my drug, okay? But that doesn't help me, right? I can't just go to the lab and figure out this many moles and add it to my volumetric flask, okay? <laughs> um, I have to convert it with my molar mass to figure out my number of grams, okay? Because then I can take it to a scale and add that amount of grams exactly and add it to my flask. Okay, so this is really easy. You just take your moles and convert it to grams using your molar mass. So moles... And this, of course, is just an example of tamoxifen, just a random example, okay? So this is a breast cancer drug, um, very interesting. Obviously, don't use this molar mass if this is not your drug. Use your molar mass, okay? I'm just using this one as an example. Okay, so we have 371.56 grams for every one mole. And you multiply these two numbers together, and you get 0. Four six four grams of your actual drug tamoxifen that you would be adding to this volumetric flask. Okay, so um, if you can imagine, right, I have my little tamoxifen, I go over to my scale, I weigh out exactly 0.464 grams, and then I ch 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 add it to my volumetric flask. Okay, so there we go. Okay, that's my 0 0.464 grams of tamoxifen that I've added to my volumetric flask. Okay. Now I'm going to fill up the rest of that volumetric flask with water. All right. But it's not going to be exactly 50 mils of water that I add to this flask because this, this drug took up some amount of volume of this flask. Right. So what I need to do is figure out exactly how much space that drug takes up and subtract that out from the 50. And I do that by using the density. So I'm going to start with my grams, 0 0.4. 464 grams, and I'm going to convert out of grams. Okay, so this looks kind of funny, all right, but I'm going to put grams on the denominator and milliliters on the numerator, okay, because I need to cancel grams out. So you'll notice it's 1.08 grams per mil, right, but that 1.08 is going to go on the denominator now. Okay, that's the number one mistake that will be made is that these two numbers will be flip flopped. All right, so you just take 0.464 divided by 1.08, and you get a number 0 0.43 milliliters, okay? So that's how much space this drug is actually taking up in your volumetric flask, 
right? And obviously you just Google your density if you don't have it written down already for your drug, okay? Um, or you can look it up in the super cool library way to research things for your drug. Ooh, exciting, okay? So now the last step is to just do some subtraction, okay? I don't think that will fit underneath, so we're gonna uh, make it fit right in here, okay? So 50 mils is your total. You're gonna subtract out your 0.43 mils for your drug, and you will find that you need to add exactly 49.57 mils of water to your volumetric flask, okay? Now in real life, you wouldn't need to calculate this out in the lab, okay? That, that's unnecessary because in real life, you would just add in your 0.464 grams. You'd add a little bit of water, swirl around your volumetric flask to let this dissolve. And then you just add up water until it hits the line, okay? And then you're done. So um, not, uh, not too tricky, hopefully, but there you go. Hopefully that helps you figure out task number eight. Good luck.